This video is sponsored by Squarespace. We don't take half pounds on the bridge. Oh my god, how cool is this? It was another beach that we couldn't park on. That's so cool, isn't it? Someone's already sent us a warning saying, don't even try it. You can't stay overnight now. Oh, you can't? They don't want camper vans in them. This is incredible. <laughs> One that you see in the Mediterranean or something. It's it's so nice. Can't bring your camper van down at night time. I actually can't believe it. If we get away with this, I'm just going to be so happy. Sorry, but that was absolute bullshit. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple in our late 30s who were attempting to live full time in the back of a converted removals truck in Britain. Each day we find new places to travel and wild camp and with it brings a new set of challenges as we adapt to living on the road full time. Van life in the UK has thrown its fair share of challenges our way so far but each week we persist and pursue our dream of escaping the rat race and experiencing a freedom we have only dreamed about. We are now only three weeks into our first big adventure in our big green removals van as we attempt to drive the majority of the British coast. Our journey began in Kent and we're attempting a full circular route of Britain, ending up back in Kent where, if Morgan survives, we will enter into the continent for the first time ever. We hope you like this video enough to earn your subscription, give it a thumbs up and let's see what happens this week as we travel along the incredible Norfolk coastline. Welcome back to the channel, we are in Norwich and this is the next episode in our huge journey epic trip around the most of the British coastline. We don't have long to do it. We're already a little bit of the way through it. We've got a lot of ground to cover and we are in Norfolk at the moment and we're going to continue in this video through Norfolk and potentially out of Norfolk because we've got to keep that pace going. We've got till August to get all the way back down to Kent again. So in this video, we are going to be going up the stretch of coastline in Norwich, Norwich, Norfolk, which apparently hosts probably the majority of the top 10 beaches in Norfolk. So what we are aiming to do is to go and see those incredible beaches, but like any van lifer, we want to be able to camp on them or as close to them as possible. So keep our fingers crossed for us. That is the that is what we're aiming for in this video. And yeah, but first, right now, sorry for talking so fast, we're in a massive rush because we've been invited out by some people called the Namaste Group. We know that they run probably one of the best Indian restaurants in Norfolk, but not only that, they also run a hotel. So it's like a plant-based restaurant and a plant-based hotel, and they want us to go and experience the lot. We obviously, being van lifers, couldn't turn down a free night in a hotel. So that's exactly what you're going to do. We've got no idea what to expect. We think it's going to be pretty authentically Indian. And uh, yeah, we can't wait. So off we go. Oh my God, we're so late. <laughs> we're taking ages to check in, but we've turned up really late and we've got to get to this restaurant as well. And time is really knocking on. Wow, how beautiful is this room? I was not expecting that. It's so nice. It's like, it's really big. And uh, it's got a single bed and a double bed. And um, yeah, it's just massive. I wasn't expecting that at all. Mega rushed, we made our way outside where the staff at the hotel had kindly arranged a lift to take us to the restaurant. You wanna know what's going on and why we were these <laughs> lovely gentlemen and there's Janine with a new haircut is we're really late because Janine's had a four and a half hour haircut. But it's looking fantastic though, so we'll, we'll let her off. And we're outside, what's the name of the hotel? Rivada. Rivada, we're outside the Rivado Hotel. So tonight we are staying in a hotel. We are not staying in the van tonight because these kind people have invited us to their 100% vegetarian hotel and, um, and we couldn't turn down the offer. It's gonna be an experience. We don't know what to expect and we're looking forward to it. Okay, so we're in a rush. We, we're heading to a restaurant. The restaurant's owned by the same people that own this hotel. Apparently, the food here is insane. So I'm just so excited to go. And this lovely gentleman What's is name? driving us. My name is Tusha. Tusha? Tusha. Yeah. We hopped in the car and had a chat with Tusha and he wanted to play some of his music for the journey. So we sat back and enjoyed the vibes. Hey. Wow, check out this place. Amazing. You can see why it's so popular, can't you? Because it's one of those, it's just one of those places. It's a bit like being in India, but you know you're in Norwich as well. It's just, good. It's just really cool. Really, really cool. So we're one starter down, and if the rest of the food is like this, then we're in for a right treat. How long do we have to eat it? Uh, maximum three minutes before it goes soggy. So, so now we have 
90 seconds. Yes, 90 yeah. seconds left. Okay, I want to take one. Cheers. Mm. When you have it all in one, it just busts the flavor. It's called flavor bomb also. Mm. The bell puri, which were described as flavor bombs, were exactly that, and just the start of an onslaught of incredible food from all over India, but mainly the Gujarat region. Favorite meals included the chili gobi, the dal makhini, and the desserts were fantastic too. The server was also the head chef and gave us insight about each delicious course. After the stunning meal, we decided to walk the journey back to the hotel to walk off the huge amounts of food we ate. Okay, so just walking through the uh, Norwich High Street, whatever we are, um, it's quite late. Uh, we just left Namaste Village. It was the most amazing, authentic Indian eating experience and hospitality. Take it from two people who are obsessed with the culture, as Janine and I are. It was incredible. Make sure you go check it out. Uh, now, the same group of people, the Namaste group, have invited us to their hotel, um, which is where we're heading to now, and we're going to stay there for the night. Um, Morgan is parked directly outside of it, so. We're gonna wake up, eat some breakfast, and get on our journey. But what an interesting alternative sort of thing. If you do if you're a van lifer, you've got to take the opportunity while you see it to have a comfortable bed, some decent food, and uh, maybe a bath or a shower as well. So and we're doing just that. We headed back to the hotel. Liam was as pleasantly surprised as I was with the room, and then we hit the sack. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Uh, we've woken up in our hotel room this morning. Lovely night's sleep. The mattress is nice and firm. Yeah, so it's a beautiful sunny day outside. Um, now the whole purpose of us staying here was because not just for them being so beautiful, wonderful people inviting us into their hotel, um, was to have a vegan breakfast in the morning, a fully plant-based breakfast. So uh, we're gonna go and see what that's like right now. Um, and yeah, we're gonna take you along with us, obviously. Once we've had the breakfast, we're gonna get on the road again because we've got a lot of um, a lot to see. We've got a lot to see. We've got we've got to keep the pace going. Last week we slowed it right down. This week we I mean we're still in Norwich, so we need to get going. We headed down to the restaurant for breakfast. The decor and artwork was simply too good to not get a photo of. We eventually sat down and ordered the most amazing breakfast. Together we had a full English breakfast, an aloo paratha, no egg omelets, coffee and orange juice, and it was spot on for that time in the morning, despite all the food we had the day before. We finished our feast, said goodbye goodbye to the super friendly staff and hopped into Morgan to hit the road once more. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> right, we're off. We are leaving Norwich finally for the, we've been here for a few days now. It's been amazing, but we've got to get going. Great Yarmouth is the point where we left the coast and that is the point where we're going to go and pick it back up again. Um, so the first stop is going to be Great Yarmouth and in this video, we're going to attempt to do the full Norfolk loop. Hopefully, or most of it anyway. Um, so wish us luck. Anyway, Great Yarmouth. Hi guys, I just pulled over on the side of the road to give you an update about our website. As you know, we got our sign writing redone just a few weeks ago now. And as part of that process, I mean, it looks exactly like it did when we bought it as a removals van. It is a removals van, but it's a camper van, as you know. Um, as part of that, we got uh, those happy days. We took the old removals firm's web URL domain name off, and we put thosehappydays.co.uk. Following that, luckily enough, we managed to get the URL for it, so we now own thosehappydays.co.uk. When we put that video out, Squarespace reached out to us. There are, they are sort of a web hosting platform and a web building platform as well. So basically, they are now our sponsors of this video, which is a win. Um, but they're also uh, the, the company we've chosen to help build our website. And it's dead easy. Trust us, if we can do it, you can do it. So if you're a blogger, a vlogger, or you're trying to sell some stuff online, or you want your own shop, or whatever you want to put recipes up or whatever like that have a look into squarespace we chose it because it's easy it's got templates on there we're already halfway through the process of getting it up online hopefully by the time that you watch this video if you type in those happy days.co.uk you might even see it go live and we're just going to keep on building on it as the time goes on because we don't know what we're going to do with it yet it's going to probably be a blog maybe try and sell some products down further down the line we don't know Either way, we bought it because it's easy and it looks good. And that's the most important thing to us. But other reasons why we chose it are, 
You get a dedicated members area, which can act a bit like a patron setup, we believe. You can also connect social media accounts to it, so we can share our web content on our Those Happy Days socials, like Instagram, etc. And of course, it'll have blogging and commenting features. We've only started on the basics so far with it, but we'll keep you posted on its progress as we move forward. But if you're a vlogger or a blogger, or you're interested in selling some products online or anything like that, and you just want your own website, head to squarespace.com forward slash Those Happy Days to save 10% off your first purchase, or domain using the code those happy days the link is in the description now back to the video so off we went to great yarmouth it took us 40 minutes before we arrived okay so we've just arrived in great yarmouth it's a boiling hot day today it's a saturday and it's really quite busy here we're only going to stay for i don't know half an hour or something just to check the place out but parking is four pound fifty for half a day four pound fifty so we're thinking we might not stay because we don't think it's worth it for just half an hour so we're going to head up the beach and see what the beaches are like further north from here as fun as great yarmouth looked we were both secretly pleased to be heading away from the bustle of people and looking forward to a more peaceful setting we headed north for 10 minutes and found just that free parking very few people and a hugely vast area of wide flat sand dunes we walked around for a while before heading back to the van Okay, so we're now off to a place called Horsey Gap and the reason why we're going there is because apparently there are seals there. Um, I'm not sure what seals do, whether they're there certain times of the year or all year round, but we're going to go there and hope to see them anyway. We headed off to Horsey Gap with an aim to park down on the beach. It says no motorhomes and unsuitable for large vehicles. Oh, why don't you ask these people? Stop and ask. Hi, mate. Do you think we'll be all right down there? Yes, it's no restriction of my height. Yeah? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, excellent. Thanks, mate. Cheers. We're going to go for it anyway. We're going to touch this top yeah. of them. Not, I'm not, I can't go any further. It's just scratching the side of my vehicle massively. We're going to get to the oh. oh. We car. don't take anything over car size. Okay. So I'm afraid you're going to have to do a UE and head out. But there's some car parks nearby that do take bigger things. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just that that's uh, a minibus there. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, but it's a lot smaller. Same this. wheelbase, probably. It's just that this is tall, so it doesn't take yeah, up any more but space. This is like a camper van. Right. Which we don't take camper vans, I'm afraid. Okay. And back we go. We got told off, and now we're hoofing it back down before a car comes. Sorry, but that was absolute bullshit. There, I understand big, big, big vehicles that take up more than a car park's worth of space, but like we'd got down the track, no worries, no issues at all, at all, and. Then she said, no, we don't. We only take cars. But there were clearly other camper vans in there as well. And so I said, you know, we're no bigger length, mid uh, wheelbase size than those camper vans in there. We're just taller. But you know, our height doesn't take any more space up in the, the car park. She said, no, well, you've got, this is a camper van with a bed in it. It's like, well, so is that one, so is that one. It's just discrimination against removal van camper vans. <laughs> We drove down the road to a cute, if not slightly random, 1930s style quirky cafe with a big car park, so decided to ask if they would allow us to park for a while if we came back for tea. They were very accommodating, so we headed off to go find some seals. Oh my god, there's something in the sea. Yeah. Is that a seal? Yes. Can you see? Yes, it is. Yeah, two. There's two. There's three. There's loads, Liam. Oh my god. There's like this in England, like just everywhere. That's so cool, should we go close? Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? There's just, there's a clump of them over there. Let's see how close we can get to them. Not too close, I don't want to scare them or anything like that, but. How awesome. What a little gem of a place, eh? Look, two over here. Despite the initial kerfuffle with the parking, Horsey Gap Beach was beautiful and was made even more beautiful that we spotted not one, but loads of seals. Looking out across the vast beach, the seals' heads bobbed across the sea and occasionally two playing together. It was a magical place and we felt fortunate to see so many. It's intimate experiences with nature like this that make us think that Britain isn't too bad, as it does have lots to offer for nature lovers. Oh my God, how amazing was that? We just saw so many seals. I'm not sure if I got it on camera because it's so bright here today. But hopefully, when I check the footage, I'll be able to see some seals on there. But yeah, that was really, really cool. Highly recommend it. Um, 
Are you up for going to get a tea now? Well, we did promise them that we would. Yeah. And we don't want to let them down. <laughs> We headed for the 1930s style cafe close to the beach for a cup of tea before hitting the road once more. We saw a Tesco's and had to pull in. We just pulled in really quickly to a Tesco's car park because I'm really struggling to get next week's video, no, tomorrow's video up online on YouTube. I can't get it above 30%. It just won't go up. So um, we're on a mission now to try and find some internet. I haven't got any on my phone. Liam's got hardly any. Not enough to upload a video. So yeah, I I don't have long now. Time is running out. It's getting urgent. On a mission to find a good connection, we headed to Walcott Beach, which seemed reasonably good. We parked alongside the beach overlooking the sea. So we just pulled up in a place called Walcott and Walcott is where we were going to spend the night. There's cones and that's because there's a marathon on tomorrow morning, which means this whole area is going to be a no-go zone. Otherwise, we would have been able to park right on the beach. So that's a bit of a shame, but there is phone signal here. Janine is uploading the video as we speak. It's beautiful. The waves are crashing on the shore. The sand is golden. Um, and I'm going to make some nice food, some tacos. Um, and yeah, we're going to really enjoy it. And then just find a park up when it gets dark. Okay, cool. I'm going to be making some form of uh, tacos now. Um, and trying, we're trying to get a bit healthier, uh, lose a little bit of weight. So I'm going to do no oil tacos. Uh, basically, Getting, getting the vegetables into a hot pan, uh, caramelizing them a little bit just in the hot pan, and then chucking in some uh, tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, and some water, and it deglazes it and gets all of that stuff off the bottom, and hopefully we should have non-burnt tacos, but we'll see. Good. Mm, mm. It's like proper tacos. So there's no oil in that at all. It says really fatty and juicy. Oh, it looks good. What's the chicken bits? Oyster mushrooms. Oh yeah, nice. Liam finished cooking and we headed outside to eat. This is one of the first times we've enjoyed our food outside of the van in the sun and it made us feel very excited for the long awaited summer ahead. We drank tea and watched as the sun was setting before heading off to our park up for the evening. Now we are going to leave this gorgeous beach and we're gonna go and find our park up. For the evening and where's um, the park up then eh? i think we're just gonna go up the road <laughs> but i don't know if the marathon may be up the road as well so we're gonna go as far as the signs for the marathon end and see if we can park that's a good idea isn't it it is a very good idea just get out of Mar marathon territory yeah i think so and you're yeah. tired aren't you i'm really tired <laughs> can you tell you've got a busy one today <laughs> oh is the youtube video uploaded yes nice well done Slight complication, but yeah. we won't go into that. Just a copyright claim here <laughs> and a copyright claim there. We left this gorgeous beach to find our park up for the evening. What do you think? I, it's just a layby on the side of the road and it's a very quiet road. It's a Saturday evening at half nine and no one's driving on this road at all. So I think it'd be fine for the evening. Well, every time I see the sun, the rooster crows for day. And every time I see that gal, she always looks away. Hell, she always looks away. Good morning, everyone. Today we have woken up right in the middle of the marathon. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. We came out in the sticks to sort of get away from it, and it turns out that this is their route. So we've got lots and lots of people just running past the van. Um, a few cheers as well. So I've been out on the roof cheering them on. Um, and it's been really cool actually, it's been quite fun. Uh, we're just down the road from a place called Mundersley and as soon as we get a chance to turn around without any runners sort of in, um, running along the road, we're gonna turn around, go back there and check out this place because apparently it's supposed to be beautiful um, and we just have to check it out. So that's where we're heading. Oh, Are you quite finished? <laughs> Let's go. Cool, so that's some more lay-by parking done. Not exactly what we planned for. I mean, the thing is, I was sort of hoping that, you know, we're in Norfolk, we're on the coastline. There's nothing to stop us parking on the beach apart from parking charges. And we're more than happy to pay for parking charges. And that's not a problem at all. This lay-by has been good. It was a shame that we couldn't uh, park on the beach. It was another beach that we couldn't park on. Um, so we're hoping to move forwards and find some more camper van, motorhome, van life friendly uh, park ups because so far it's not been so great. The 
lay-by though was great because it was it was a it was a quiet road um so we're very very thankful for that beautiful fields on the other side of us but onwards we go and we look we are constantly looking for those perfect wild camping spots on the beach here we go we turned the van around and headed back to munsley to check out the beach we found a car park opposite the beach so parked up for a brief time I think the thing with these cars, I'm seeing these ones here with the blue signs and the um, and what have you, they're all, none of them are camper van, camper van friendly, they've all so far have said no overnight camping. So the, that's basically, they're everywhere, the majority of Norfolk car parks on the beach, you can't camp, you can't stay overnight, which is, which is such a shame because there's always loads of spaces available, um, it doesn't make sense to me, they make money from it, Not, most motorhomers and camper vans I know don't mind paying as well. Oh well. We went to go have a quick look at the beach. It was a gorgeous beach with golden sand, a relatively large beach with many people cold water swimming in the sea. It was however slightly windy and we had a lot to see so headed back to the van to move on. We just walked past the cafe. And it smelled good. And it smelled good. It smelled like proper coffee beans that did. <laughs> So I think we're going to go and try and find a coffee. We'll go to we'll go to that cafe that they reckon that tree. Hold on a sec, Colin Tree Friend, best name ever, <laughs> um, said to go to um, a biker cafe. Yes, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that then. So off we went on a coffee mission. We drove along the marathon route to a place called Cromer. We parked up and headed to a cafe called JJ's that we were invited to by subscribers Colin Treefriend and his daughter. It's a biker's cafe with great plant-based options. I'm getting sausage, chips and beans. I haven't had that meal for years and, uh, and I really fancy it. As soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get that. I got a sausage, beans and chips, whilst Liam got a full English and we shared a nutty caramel milkshake and a bubblegum cheesecake. And it was all incredible. Okay, time to walk off all this food. So I went back and got a jacket because it's absolutely freezing. So now I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt, a t-shirt, a cardigan, a jumper, a jacket and a hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so yeah, even I shock myself at how cold I get. But anyway, we're going to go for a walk now, so hopefully I'll warm up. We're going from Cromer Beach to what, what was it? Uh, Overstand. Overstand Beach. Um, the reason why we're going for a walk is to walk off all that food we just ate. And also, they apparently have some fancy artwork that we're going to go and check out. It's quite a way down. <laughs> it's quite a way down here. We went to check out the graffiti and to walk along the beautiful, vast, wild beach of Overstand. That's so cool, isn't it? Right, next beach is 17 minutes away. Sheringham Beach is, is in one of Norfolk's top 10 beaches and we're about to go and find out why. As the day's getting on a bit now, we potentially could stop for the night here. It's a paid car park, you can stay for 24 hours. However, it's another one of the car parks, which is the majority of the car parks around here, that says no overnight sleeping. And apparently the, um, the traffic wardens in Norfolk are really on it. Someone's already sent us a warning saying, don't even try it. So, um, so we're not staying here then. <laughs> we're actually gonna go to the next beach um, and see what that's like. It's the next beach is the, 
from what we've seen, is probably the top beach in the whole of Norfolk, the, the nicest beach in the whole of Norfolk. It's called Wells Beach and Hokum Beach. They're sort of quite close to each other, Wells and Hokum. And we're gonna go and try, not feeling too optimistic about it after all of these car parks, to try and camp down on the beach, uh, wild camp down there. So, off we go. We headed off again through the most gorgeous countryside and cute little villages to head to this beach. It started to rain. Okay, so our aim is now to go to the Wells Beach um, because there's a car park there. It's on park for night, so we're really hopeful that we can actually park down there for the night so we can wake up tomorrow morning and see this beach um, because it's raining now, otherwise we'd go now. Um, it's just started raining. So we're just now looking to see if we can stay overnight on this beach um, and I'm really excited. Oh, for God's sake, that's it there. Oh, oh hold on. Ooh. There's this here, that's open. It's open height barriers. No parking there. Ooh, hold on a second. Um, are we okay here with the there's high barriers? Are they going to close at some point? Or? Um, not that I know of, um, but yeah, we do close at 9 o'clock. And what time do you open again in the morning? 6 o'clock. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you we pay for it. You, you can't stay overnight now. Oh, you can't? No. We close at 9 o'clock. Oh, so the whole car park actually closes, so you want everyone out? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm with you. Okay, all right. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, thank Cheers, you. thank you. Less than 10% of the spaces are full in this car park and you can't stay overnight in it. What a shame. I know, this would be a, this would, this is the one they were talking about. Yeah. This is such a big car park. It's so big and it's so sort of empty. It would just be so good to be able to park here overnight, but they want, when they shut the barriers, they want everyone out and everyone gone. And they've got a height barrier there. So that, that's when, obviously, when they close the height barrier so no one can get in. But it's such a shame because there's ah. so many spaces. So many spaces. It's just another beach spot. Basically, the majority, I would say, 100% of the car parks we've been in so far, in fact, it has been 100%, hasn't it? 100% of the car parks we've been in so far, they don't want camper vans in them. At least, they don't want them in overnight. Um, this one's got a height barrier on. I don't know when they use it. So I don't even want, want them during the daytime either, but it's right. All of the nicest beaches and all these spots and all the car parks don't want us to park there. So we're off to go and find a, a lay-by, which I don't mind, to be honest with you. I don't mind sleeping in a lay-by, but it's such a wasted space. We could have stayed here overnight and spent money in the, in the local town and all that sort of stuff. Been here the next morning. Anyway, it's all good. We like Norfolk still but we're out of here for now. We left the car park without even having a peep at the most beautiful beach in Norfolk and made our way to find another lay-by park up for the evening. So we've parked up. Um, it looks like quite a good park up. There's a field behind us with loads of rabbits and sheep and stuff and it's really cute, but it's chucking it down outside. So we're not gonna go for a walk or anything. We're just gonna chill out now for the evening. We're not even eating, so we're not gonna cook, but I think Liam's about to make it, me a cup of tea. No, oh, am I now? A mint tea. <laughs> mint tea. A mint tea, Get please. Get a mint tea down ya. Yeah. We drank tea for the rest of the evening before hitting the sack with the aim to head back to the beach early. Be quite early in the morning but we've just come to the top of these steps to, to Norfolk's top beach considering that we've seen some incredible beaches so far 
we get to the top and we both just went silent for about <laughs> oh, 30 seconds. We didn't know what to say really. There's a big digger or something here. And um, and a tiny little bit of sand. And we just realised we're in the wrong place. So um, anyway, this is the Wells area behind us. The Wells sort of beach, sort of marina area. And we're going to Hokum Beach now. Wow. This is incredible. This beach is like something from India. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It's so nice. And the water's so still because it's in like a little cove. There's like um, a surf break further out, but this bit is really still. I still wonder from time to time if I am fooling myself with lies. It's creeping up on me sometimes that I should stop and Absolutely chucking it down. The heavens have just opened. It was beautiful. And then the heavens opened. Look at this in front of us though. Delta! <laughs> Delta! <laughs> oh, look, such a nice smell in the air with the with the water hitting those that pine though. It feels so tropical, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, cliche to say it feels like a very um and it definitely feels like a foreign country i absolutely love this beach i think this is one of my favorite beaches it's in the there. uk yeah the whole setup of it you got beach you got um crescent shaped beach with the beach that's on it that look like they're in a tropical country you could be in barbados or goa or whatever and then it goes on to some big flat beaches mm. it's got a harbor a little town and then but behind it all is this beautiful pine forest that we're sort of sheltering in right now and it's like a proper one that you see in the Mediterranean or something. It's it's so nice. It's so gorgeous. You can see what people are saying about it now, can't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> top, top beach in Norfolk, definitely. We headed back to the van and left this beautiful area. The roads were wet, which made the countryside look vibrant. We headed for our next beach called Brancaster Beach, noticing again a no overnight camping sign. We checked out this stunningly huge golden sandy beach for some time, surprised with how vast it is. It's okay that you feel in blue cause I'm here to stay. We left this beach to check out Hunt Stanton Beach but came across a problem. Oh no! Barrier. So that's another car park unfortunately. We're on Hunstanton Beach now where we can't actually even get into it. Uh, even if we did get into it without the height barrier, um, it's no overnight parking again. Right on the beach, no overnight parking. Bit of a shame. That's just how it is across um, this, nor especially this North Norfolk coast. Um, they're really, really hot on it. They do not want motorhomes, camper vans camping overnight and this car park doesn't want us in at all so it's such a big shame because once again it's huge car park and there's plenty of spaces oh well onwards and upwards let's do it we headed off to hunt stanton center this time parking up on the roadside Leah made us both a banging pasta primavera with a tofu sauce and seasonal veg including asparagus. We ate this feast then hit the town and headed to see the beach. It was stunning, the cliffs were gorgeous, bright red in colour and the beach was beautiful. We headed back to the van as we had to move on. So that's Hunt Stanton. Uh, we could, I um, would have, um, stayed here overnight. You can park all along the cliff tops. Uh, along here during the daytime which is good so daytime parking in Hunstanton free along the on the, along the cliff tops however um, at night time you've got to go once again it's another huge use of space that you can't um, can't bring your camper van down at night time it's really really um, sort of off-putting for motorhome and camper van users 
they don't want you being here. They, do, well, they want you to be here in the daytime, but they want you to bugger off at night. So, yeah, that's another one. Another one bites the dust, Janine, eh? Hey. But I am determined for whilst we're on this North Norfolk coast to, to find one. Yeah. So we're going to move on to the next base now. And if we find one, we stay, we're staying there. And that's it, full stop. We headed off to a park up we found on Park for Night, not far from Huntstanton. It's our last ditch attempt to find somewhere to park on a beach in Norfolk, so we were keeping all fingers and toes crossed. Oh, I mean, it's beautiful, it's windy, really windy. It's a flood risk area. The parking space is tiny and it's on a really quite a big slope fallen that way. So I'm gonna be rolling into Liam all night. Um, but, but, <laughs> but, but we're parked right on the friggin' beach. Like this is more on the beach than Aldebra was. Yeah. This is a diamond park. If we can get away with this, this is a brilliant park up. Janine's right. A little bit risky, risk of flooding, a tiny little space. We had to drive through a bit of sand to get here, but we're here now. There's even good signal. Is there? Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm game. I'm just gonna have a little scoot around and see what's, see what's about. I can't believe it. It's only taken us a few days to find it, but we've managed to get a park up on the beach. And fingers crossed, we get to stay here for the night as well. So what do you reckon, sweetheart? Oh my God, I actually can't believe it. If we get away with this, I'm just gonna be so happy because that beach out there is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning and there's little dogs running around, <laughs> rolling about in the sand. We walked along this incredible beach alongside the protected bird nesting areas and took in the serenity of what appeared to be a very sleepy beach. Despite the lack of love for van lifers on the Norfolk coast, it makes it all worth it when you find a little gem like this. It's fair to say we love Norfolk. The people are friendly, pace is slow, and it's absolutely beautiful. It will be a shame to leave, but onwards we must go on our epic journey around the British coast. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh.